So there's a new kit on the block. It is called the Sonos Ace. And this is Sonos first ever Bluetooth headphones. And it is priced $449, which means it is competitively priced against the XM5s and even the AirPods Max. Let's see how the big three competes one another. So take a look at the box. It has this environmental friendly presentation, which I do like. I picked up the color black. And of course we have some pulley tabs here. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I unboxed the white ones. We're gonna take a look at that in a second, but take a look at inside. You're presented with the case itself. So that is one point already with this because the AirPods Max only comes with that broad shaped case, if you even call it a case. And yeah, so we're gonna put that aside. And then next to that, we have our booklet slash cables. And by the way, this is the box. This is what it is. Pretty interesting packaging. And we have the let's start it. So we do have a type C to type C and we have a type C to 3.5. And of course we have our setup booklets. Taking a look at the case, we have this nice velvet material. I love this environmental friendly presentation, but it takes away from the satisfaction of ripping plastic off of tech, but I am all for the environment. All right, so before I even reveal the headphones to you guys, let's compare it to the XM5s and even the Laffabri AirPods Max. So you guys can see the XM5s, I got this uh, cream color, platinum, I think it was called but it can get very dirty easily, but that varies on the color that you go with. And right away, I noticed the zipper, it zips a little bit more smoothly with the Sony's, opposed to the Sonos, it kinda could get stuck in the zipper a little bit. But as you can see, that material really hides that zipper. And I think that's where you're gonna get in trouble. So yeah, that's gonna get a little annoying. XM5s, you have nothing to worry about. And of course, your AirPods Max, all you do, and you're good but there's no protection at all. Usually with my AirPods, I pick up a third party case. This one here is from Spigen, and that's kind of how I get by with the AirPods. And I have my lightning to type C. I don't know why Apple put lightning on the AirPods Max, but here we are. But usually that's what I use for the AirPods Max. But for the sake of this video, this comparison, I'm not gonna be using that again. All right, let's reveal the Ace, Sonos first headphones. Woo, okay. Now I picked this up in black and I also picked it up in the soft white as well. I love this eco-friendly presentation here, helps the environment. And you do have a compartment to store your cables. So there's a little case for it. You just can drop it into the case with your eyes closed. It's automatically gonna align it perfectly. And same thing with the XM5s, you do have that flap there too. And I would say the Sony is a better compartment because it's already fixed onto the case opposed to the Sonos, you could potentially maybe lose this. If you lose this, that's it, it's gone. But hey, to each your zone, you still have a case with cable compartments. But I'm giving the point in terms of case quality to the XM5s, but looking at it side by side, it's basically the same width, the same everything. It's exactly the same. All right, so looking at the Sonos Ace, I gotta say, these are incredibly light. I'm actually gonna take out the scale. And I love how premium these look too. Like you have the, the hinge, that same sliding hinge mechanism that is found on the AirPods Max. But the Sonos might even be a little bit better because the stainless steel material is smoked out. So you have a darker color opposed to the AirPods Max just being a regular stainless steel. Nothing wrong with that, but I noticed that right away. And essentially, these feel like AirPods Max and the XM5 had a baby. Literally, it's just mushed in together. You have the lightness of the XM5s, but you have the hinge of the AirPods Max. And of course, you have the easily customizable air cuffs that you can easily take apart. So I take off the left side. And of course, you can take off the right side. So both the AirPods and the Ace, you can detach the air cushions magnetically. And unfortunately, the XM5s, you can't do that. There's no such thing. Hopefully XM6, Sony would incorporate that. But yeah, material-wise, I do like how the AirPods Max has this canopy kind of design on the top. So air flows on the top of your head. So it's not as much tension. I really do find that really handy. And even the air cushions themselves, this nylon material feels nice and silky smooth because the problem with leather air cuffs or even vegan, it's gonna build sweat throughout time. Now, I do like the XM5s. 
I think this is probably one of the better premium materials. I really do like the air cuffs, but something about the AirPods Max, it, it has a unique experience. It's, it's something that's different, but it feels good around your ears. So yeah, so the AirPods Max is engineering at its finest and it definitely shows here. All right, so let's take out the scale and let's see exactly how much this weighs. So we're gonna put this into grams. All right, so we're gonna put this into grams. So the Sonos Ace, this is gonna come in at 316 grams, while the AirPods Max is gonna weigh in 388 grams. And the XM5 is gonna come in at 250. So 250, the XM5s are the lightest headphones out of the big three. Yeah. And the reason why I'm calling this the big three, Sonos priced this at $450. So you're competing with these guys. These are the heavy hitters right now. And I heard a lot of great things about the Sonos, so we gotta put them to the test. And right away, I wanna talk about the controls. You do have the touch controls on the XM5s, which I hated at first, but I gotten used to it. So basically what I mean by gestures, you can go up and down by swiping up or down, left to reverse the tracks, right to get to the next track. Now in terms of the ports and buttons, you do have your type C on the right air side. And then on the left cuff, you have your 3.5 millimeter. You have your power button. You have your noise canceling slash ambient. And that is it. So very easy to master with the XM5s. And I love the fact that it has type C, which by the way, the Apple AirPods Max, it has that lightning. And yes, this came out in 2020, but still type C was pretty common in 2020 but yeah lightning here which i hate this is the only apple product that i need a lightning for and you have your digital crown this is going to increase or decrease the volume which is my favorite way to control the volume of media and of course you have your side button this is going to activate either transparency or noise canceling very simple on the airpods max might even be even simpler on the Max opposed to the Sony's because you don't even have a power button on the AirPods Max. As soon as you put them on your ears, it's gonna turn right on, but it's gonna deplete battery a little bit more frequent. Now, in terms of the Sonos, you do have Type-C, which is a good look, but then you have this button here, um, which I'm not sure. Oh, that's the power button. All right, so the power button it's a, it has a nice little chunk to it. Like the button actually feels satisfying. Then you have this button here. This is my first time using this, by the way. It has a springy toggle here. So this is how you're gonna increase the volume. So you can hold it up to actually go all the way up and hold it all the way down. You can click it in too. That's gonna play pause and double press it to get to the next track, triple press it to get to the previous track. And I'm assuming this is gonna be your ambient mode or even your noise canceling. This grill is actually for the wind. So it's gonna reduce the wind noise. Uh, I know a lot of people have been wondering what's these speaker grills for but it has a purpose. Now, quick little comparison between the white and the black. Here we are side by side. If you decided on which color to go with, to be quite frank, they both gorgeous colors. You have this nice soft white material with the stainless steel finish. Now you have stainless steel here, but it has a smoked out stainless steel. Uh, you really can't go wrong with either war, to be honest with you, but maybe the white one will get dirty a little bit more easy. Uh, I can only imagine that the headband, if you have grease on your hair, this is gonna start to build up maybe. But other than that, they both look amazing. I mean, oh, you have this green accent, what's this? So you do have a lime color accent here on the right air cuff to indicate which side is which. But to be honest, they didn't really need to do that considering that you know which one is gonna be which because the sensors is not gonna line up, but eh, it's easier, I guess. So that's what I mean. Even the air piece has that same accent color. So you'll know exactly which side is which. And same thing with the black one, it's lighter, right? So you have this more translucent or this transparent kind of color. While the other side has this smoked out, this black finish. I do like this though. And then it just goes on. It goes on nice and easy. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, but the white one is definitely gonna get easy. So I think my personal pick, it would have to be the black one, but the choice is yours, of course. Yeah, comparing the cases side by side, you have that same material, but the zipper has this minty green color. And taking a look at the inside, it's all green. So it's all green just inside. Well, as we saw before, the black one is just blacked out. 
Yeah, that zipper, the zipper is not that good. I don't really like the zipper too much, but yeah, I'm going with the black one. So we're gonna continue with the black one. All right, now in terms of app control, you do need to download that Sonos app. Oh, look, right away, as soon as I download the application and launch it up, it automatically detected the ACE and we're gonna tap on continue and it's gonna tell me to press that button. So the power button for about five seconds, we're gonna continue and now it should be able to connect and it's getting the ACE ready. Now, if you compare to the AirPods Max, well, there's no app required. All you do, you just take it out the case and it's gonna pop up on your phone. So no app needed. So the headphones is all paired up and ready to go. I'm actually gonna do a sound test and see how these sound. I already know how the AirPods Max sound and I already know how the XM5 sounds like. Both of these sound absolutely incredible, but I may have to get the ever so slight edge to the AirPods Max. But then again, XM5, you can adjust the EQs and you could get some really good bass out of the, the Sonys for sure. That's a tough one, actually. So let's put these on for the very first time. And okay, all right, it's making, it's like a welcome, a welcome sound. Transparency is enabled, so yeah. As I expected, that's to increase the volume, the little springy. Oh, and this is noise canceling, and this is transparency. So transparency, transparency is a little weird. It doesn't sound one-to-one -one like the AirPods Max, because if I put on my AirPods Max right now, it's gonna feel like, it's gonna feel one-to-one. -one. I don't sound robotic. I don't sound like I'm in a tunnel. I just sound like me. Like I don't sound different. But testing out the, the ACE is clear, but I sound like I'm in a tunnel, which is not a bad thing, but it doesn't sound one-to-one. -one. That's one thing I noticed right away. Now, as for the Sony's, Sony's is more lighter. I like the way the Sony's feel. All right, so the transparency on Sony's definitely, mm, AirPods Max is definitely number one when it comes down to transparency, but I'm gonna probably give the second spot to the Sony's because it sounds pretty good, but not, nearly as clear as the AirPods Max, but these sound really good. But for some weird reason, with the Ace coming in at last place, it sounds a little weird. Kind of sound like I'm talking to a microphone and I can hear myself, but it's not clear as these two right here. These two so far, AirPods Max number one, number two, XM5s, number three Ace, when it comes down to transparency. That's just talking right now and hearing myself. Now, I'm kind of getting sidetracked. <laughs> I want to go back to that app. And really the only thing that I want to do with the app is to adjust that EQ and kind of show you guys the settings. Of course, we can see the battery percentage. We have noise control and they call it aware mode. They don't even call it transparency. And of course we have the EQ and we have head tracking. So the EQ, everything is set to 50%. It's in the middle which is default head tracking. I am going to enable head tracking. That's something that we have on the AirPods. And of course we have multi-point where this is going to allow you to connect two devices at the same time. All right, let's play some music. This is the right side. Yeah, so let's play some music. And I got to say the way how these feel in general, these feel good. These feel good right off the bat, but all, all of the heavy hitters feel good. There's no uncomfortable headphones that you can get. You really can't go on either either side. All right, so let's play some Kendrick Lamar. We have Not Like Us. We're gonna try this out at 50% volume. And of course the EQs haven't been touched. All right, that head tracking works. All right, let's do max volume. Okay, not bad. It's not it's not that dumping bass, but that's why we have the EQ. Clean bass, but let me see how the XM5 sound. Cause they, they sound similar to the XM5s, but I could be wrong. All right, let me just put on the XM5s. I'm about to do some testing behind the scenes and really see, but off the first listen, the A sound pretty good. I mean, once I raise up that bass to all the way up on the EQ, like if it wasn't for this EQ, the Sonos would have been in trouble because it sounded a little flat, but increasing that bass to 10 and even the treble, it made things a little bit more better. Let me test out the Sony's real quick. And since we're here, we may as well get into the Sony app. So this is the Sony application. Comparing the two apps, Sonos do have the better application. I like the way how it looks. I think Sony needs a little bit of a redesign or a refresher on the app. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the EQ because I test out the Sonos without the EQ. Yeah, and that's without the EQ. Now when you add that EQ in, yeah, and of course we have that weird detection. I don't know, man. The Sony sounds better, 
when it comes down to disabling the EQs. But when you enable the EQ, it sounds even better on the Sony. So sound quality wise on the Sonos, these sound good. But when you when you go in against the heavy hitters, these gotta these gotta blow everything out the water. Let me go back into this one again. Yeah, these have a little bit more trouble. Yeah, yeah. The Sony has more bass, man. Without a doubt, Sony has more bass, and the bass is more richer. The sound quality is better on the Sony, opposed to the Sonos. Now, AirPods Max, I already know this is a league of its own. So let me connect these, and it just automatically connects. And you even have the emblem if you have if you're on iPhone. You gotta put that all the way up. And there's no app too with this. Yeah, AirPods Max. AirPods Max sound really good. I can only imagine if they, if Apple had like actual EQ sliders instead of presets. Cause if I go into the music preferences, you can only change the preferences of the EQ. There's no actual EQ slider. So, but these sound really good. Like the AirPods Max sound really good. In terms of sound quality, I'm putting the AirPods Max at number one. And very close second, very close second. I wish I could put these both at number one, but it don't work like that, man. It can only be one winner. I'm giving the AirPods Max at number one in terms of sound quality. Number two, the Sony's. And number three, the Sonos. The Sonos just sound a little bit on the flat side, but once you increase the EQ to all the way up and you, and you crank the everything up, then it sounds pretty decent. But even then, the Sony sound better with the EQs disabled. And then when you crank up the EQ, it sounds even better. Then the AirPods Max, I wish these had an EQ, but uh, just using the standard uh, Apple Music EQ, these sound pretty good. Like, sound really good. And even if I turn off the EQ, it's probably gonna sound pretty good too as well. Let me turn that off. So yeah, it has a lot of good trouble and it has enough bass too, but I'm a bass head, so I'm always gonna go off the bass. So yeah, Sonos, eh, kinda disappointed me with that one. Not to say that it's terrible, it's just going against the big three right now, this is definitely the weakest. All right guys, so I am gonna do some off testing, playing some more music, more genres, pop, R&B, reggae, you name it. And I'm gonna really make sure I'm not tripping because the Sonos, eh, it's okay. It's not the best, but all right guys, so I'll be back, stand by. All right guys, so I've been using the Sonos Ace for three days straight now, and I like these, but they're not as good as the AirPods Max or even the XM5s. Now, comparing these two headphones, these are the absolute god tier headphones amazing noise canceling amazing sound quality and comparing that to the sonos ace you would expect that to have the same amount of quality but given that price point at 450 dollars i don't know about that one cheap. now i appreciate the materials that they chose the lightweight design but when it comes down to the sound quality the higher volumes the io distorts it kind of just doesn't really sound all that good when you max everything out um, of course, if you tone everything down a little bit, it sounds good, but it just sounds like it sounds okay, but not nowhere near as good as the AirPods Max or even XM5. The majority of my time, I mostly wore this to the gym. The gym is actually a perfect place to test out headphones because people are talking in the background. You have people grunting. We got people throwing down the weights. Noise canceling headphones are absolutely perfect for the gym. And I would say they exceeded it well. Um, I could barely hear anybody or any any kind of conversations. Um, but I, like I said, I just noticed that sound popping. But when I was switching between noise canceling and transparency or ambient mode as Sonos call it, the sound effect switching between the two modes, it sounds a little faint. It doesn't sound as noticeable. Maybe they should have dimmed down the music a little bit so you could hear the sound effect going. Uh, Cause it, it could be hard to tell sometimes, but just the sound effect, I, I wish it was a little bit more amplified or a little bit more loud very comfortable very lightweight and the fact how you could customize the air cuffs because this will get all slimed up a little bit because these are leather and leather kind of chips out you can easily swap out the air cushions right on the fly that's something i wish we could do on the xm5s but maybe on the xm6 you could probably do something like that now i appreciate the volume controls i love that slider switch i like it it's not 
nowhere near as good as the AirPods Max Digital Crown. I think this is the best headphones for controlling the volume, but it is nice and intuitive. And even the swipe gestures on the XM5s are pretty good, but the Digital Crown is still king. Now, in terms of phone calls, my friends can hear me loud and clear. And honestly, they don't really hear the difference, but I'm gonna do a microphone test so you guys can maybe hear the difference for yourself. This is a microphone test of the Sonos Ace. Tell me who can, catch a toucan, lucan, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. Let me know down in the comments down below how's the microphone. Now in terms of the AirPods Max, let's test out the microphone quality and see how it stacks up. This is a microphone test of the AirPods Max. Tell me who can, catch a toucan, lucan, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. This is a microphone test of the AirPods Max and yeah, reliable. Um, let's see how it stack up against the XM5. And all right, here is the Sony XM5s. Tell me who can, catch a toucan, lucan, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. Let me know down in the comments down below which mic sounds the best in your opinion. And right off the gate, I must say that the transparency mode on the XM5s and the AirPods Max sounds incredible. And it's okay on the Sonos, but you can easily tell that ah, it's, it's not as good as the big two, I would say. Um, so out of the big three, we have the Sonos, the XM5s, the AirPods Max. Unfortunately, the Sonos is going last place for me. The transparency is mediocre at best. It's okay, it's not the best. Pales in comparison between the Max and the XM5s. Noise canceling is surprisingly pretty good, but still pales in comparison compared to the XM5s and AirPods Max. So all around, these are just mediocre headphones. They okay, but for $450, no. Wait for these to go on sale at least. But until then, I would recommend you guys get in the Sony Altwares. These are actually pretty incredible. I did an entire video on it. Make sure you guys click on the link in the description and a card on screen. I compared these to the XM5s and the results will surprise you for sure. But in terms of the XM5s and the AirPods Max, I really came and declare a winner. I love both of these so much. The lightweight design of the XM5s, I love the sound quality, the, the fact how you can be able to adjust the EQ, and the fact how you can be able to customize the noise canceling is pretty good too as well. AirPods Max, you have the computational audio, the adaptive EQs, and if you're in the ecosystem, where if you pick up your iPad, your iPhone, or even your Apple TV, everything just connects seamlessly. So it's really hard to declare a winner. If I'm traveling, I'm always gonna carry my Sony's just because of that lightweight design. And I don't know, for some reason, the leather air cuffs on the Sony just feel so good around the ears, but I love my Max too. So both of these are first place to me. You really can't go wrong either or. Um, maybe if you're in the Apple ecosystem, get the Max. And if you have Android, get the Sony XM5s. But, um, but right now, we could be seeing the XM6 potentially this year, um, but Ah, who am I kidding? Get them now. I mean, the XM5s are so good that I don't know what Sony is going to do with the XM6. But if you're on a budget and you want to save money, you can pick up the Altware. These are going to run you $180 through Best Buy, uh, $200 MSRP. But $400 for the Sonos, or $450 to be exact, plus tax, that's a tough pill. I'm going to say that's a tough pill, but yes, you do have the connectivity if you have the Sonos uh, Beam and you can be able to listen to uh, whatever's on the TV through the headphones. But if you have an Apple TV, you already know that you could do this easily with your regular AirPods or you can even connect Bluetooth. So it's not necessary, but it is cool. I, I, I got to give credit where it's due, but for 450 nah, nah, bro. No. So I'm going to throw a link in the description to all the headphones that I mentioned. I have four headphones, man. That is just insane to even think about. Four amazing headphones. And I'm not saying the Sonos is bad, but it's just pales in comparison compared to uh, a plethora of headphones that I have here. Like, yeah, you know I'm a YouTuber when I could be able to do things like this. But yeah, I test out countless headphones on the channel and I know what I'm talking about. Um, the Sonos, it just distorts. 
it pops like it it, it, it doesn't really sound all that compared to uh, the premium headphones that I test out but the ball is in your court I recommend getting the Sony's Altwear if you're on the budget and you're looking for quality the Altwear is pretty good if you're in the ecosystem AirPods Max without a doubt these sound incredible and these are just this is the best you can do it if you're in the Apple ecosystem. And if you have an Android or you're on a plane and you're looking for more premium like materials and that more premium feel opposed to the Altwear, XM5s are gonna be your best friend. And I just love the telescoping arms on the side to be able to adjust it precisely to your liking. And the Sonos is just, I guess if you're in the Sonos ecosystem, it's pretty good, I guess. But other than that, Ah, it's okay. If you guys enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it with a thumbs up, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below what you guys think. Until next time, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.